Hello, this is Dan Fashionbauer from Video Pizzazz. And today I'm going to show you how to update your Instamic firmware. Okay, so I went to instamic.freshdeck.com slash support. And they do have a firmware upgrade procedure video there. But I'm also going to walk through that procedure on my Instamic. So the first thing they want you to do is register your Instamic account at register.instamic.io. So if I go over there, it asks for your name, your email address, the serial code. Now there is a serial code on the back of your mic, but it's very, very small. It's really hard to read for an old guy like me. So on the box that your Instamic came in, you also have that serial number there. So I got my serial number off my box. And then choose the platform that you want to use. In my case, it's Windows and click on Submit. And it says, Dear Dan Fashionbauer, thank you for registering. Email with download link has been sent to your email address. Happy recording. Now insert the USB cable into your Instamic and insert that into your computer. And once the USB detects your mic, the three green dots should be blinking randomly on your mic. So then go over to your email and click on Instamic support here. And then click the button to download the firmware upgrade application. Click on that. And I'm going to accept the risk. It's just my antivirus. All right, then I just created an Instamic directory on my local computer and I'll slide my Instamic installer 2.5 zip file in there. And then I'll select that, click on extract all, and I'm going to extract it into this Instamic directory. Okay, then I can double click on the Instamic installer 2.5 executable. And the Windows is going to try to not allow that to run because it doesn't know who this installer is. But I'm going to say run anyway. Click on yes. Click on I agree. Whoops, come down here. Click on I agree. And it's going to create an Instamic Inc. slash Instamic firmware upgrade tool. Click on install. And click on install. Show details. Okay, click on close. Then you'll see the Instamic firmware update here. 